Hey, what's up guys? It's LegoJo here, and today I'm going to review the Senate Commando Battle Pack. This is set 75088. It's recommended recommended for ages 6 to 12, uh, 106 pieces, and it retails for $12.99 in the USA. So, this is a pretty awesome set. I usually don't get the battle packs, but I decided to get this one, and it is very cool. And I'm really glad I got it, because it... It has four great minifigs, and I mainly wanted it for this new six stud shooter. And we are going to look at that in this video, so stay tuned for that. So first up, let's start with the minifigs. First up here for the figures is Captain Senate Commando. And he's very similar to the other Senate Commando troopers, except you could, he has a little bit of white on him. And here's his back printing right here, if you want to see that. And then what I thought was interesting is that he doesn't actually have the normal clone face. He, I mean, it's clone face, but it's a... A different clone face there. It's not like an extremely angry clone face. It's more of just a, a calmer clone face. So I thought I thought that was cool because I didn't have that face yet. So it's nice to add that to my collection. And then also, each of the Senate Commando troopers includes a stud shooter. But for Captain Senate Commando, they added that piece on the back to make it look like a, a longer gun sort of. And I think that looks very nice. And I'll show you the stud shooters later in the video along with the uh, the new six stud shooter. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it for Captain Senate Commando, so now on to the next figure. All um all three of the Senate Commando troopers in the set are actually identical, so I just lined them up like this, uh, so you can see all pretty much all of the angles of them. You can see under the helmet, the front printing, the back printing. And uh these figures are very nice. They they just look good and they they also the the helmets are really cool as well. I'm not sure if the helmets are a new mold, though I'm pretty sure that it's uh it's new printing on the helmets. So I really, really like these figures, though I have no clue where they come in in Star Wars or anything like that, because I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, that's pretty much it for these figures, though. So now on to the actual set. I also mentioned that each of the figures include their own stud shooter. So if you don't already know how that works, then I'll demonstrate it right now. Basically, you just press this top gray button right here, and it fires off the stud shooter. Pretty far, actually. And they work quite well, so that's pretty cool. So here is the sort of little um, turret that you get with the set. It's the main build of this set. And it does have the six dud shooter on it, which I will show you soon. But first of all, I just want to show you some of the actions of this. First of all, you can pose the legs, each of them. It, it, it's sort of a posable. And then this twists entirely around in 360 degree. And then also the cannon with the six dud shooter on it can angle up or down. So it has a bit of articulation on it, so that's pretty cool. And then this right here is where your, your uh, minifig sits. Now on the back, there's actually a little uh, handle that you can hold his six stud or his uh, stud shooter on, and I think that's really cool. So you probably want to see the six stud shooter. So I'll show you that right now. So basically, how the stud shooter here works is there's a little knob on the back, and when you twist it, it uh, just fires them all off. It's uh, pretty cool. So. And they go everywhere, basically. It's going to be pretty hard to find them all. But that's also why they give you extras. They actually give you ten extras here. I just uh, only have about six of them here, but I stacked them on top of each other. And uh, I think it's cool that they give you extras. It's a really nice addition to the set. So, yeah, that's pretty much it here. So that's all for this review. I really hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, then uh, give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.